Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the SSWO Signals channel. Um, I recently purchased um, a radio off eBay, a uh, older radio, as you can see here in the video. It is a realistic DX380. Uh, it is a um, AM, FM, long wave, medium wave, short wave radio. It does not have a uh, single sideband on it, so it's strictly... Uh, at least on the shortwave side, it's strictly uh, international broadcast. Um, I've been playing around with it. I got it yesterday. Um, I got it uh, off eBay for $40, but with shipping, it turned out to be around $50. Um, so it came in as very clean. Um, there's no issues that I can notice at all uh, cosmetically. Um, no scratches, no fading on the keys, battery compartment sparkling clean. Um, it even came with batteries, believe it or not. Um, but uh, it is definitely a um, an older radio. I think it was made in the probably the had to be probably the mid '90s, late '90s, around there. Probably, probably more like mid '90s, I believe. I did have a uh, DX3. I believe it was a 390. That was my first shortwave radio back in the '90s. Um, I have seen that on eBay, and I've thought about getting it, but. Um, I think my wife is going to go completely nuts if she knows I keep buying radios, which is probably the the most um, uh, deal that stops me from buying all these radios. Um, but this one at least was cheap enough for me to purchase some. I've been playing around a little bit last night. I did some AM um, scanning, and it, it does pretty well. Um, I have a Texan AN200 loop that I have um, also tried with it, which works well. Um, tends to bring in some of the AM stations pretty good. I'm um, going to be making some videos on this, um, comparison videos between this and my CNG and ATS-909 since they are older radios and made around the same time and see um, see what the older technology has and then maybe a comparison video between this and a newer Texan like a 990X which I have and see what the newer technology versus the older technology and see who wins. Um, I've tried it on telescopic, I've tried it with wire antenna so far, and I've tried it with my uh, MLA-30, and uh, so far, um, all pretty good. Um, it does have a pretty good sound on it, and um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some comparison videos, and maybe a couple band scans uh, in the park with this radio. Um, I'll take it along with me and uh, see what it does. It does mute when tuning, um, if you don't know what that is. I'm going to turn it on here, and it's got a slider for the volume, which is not conventional to me, but it, it, it still works. So I don't have an antenna hooked up to it currently, but just to give you a feel, like if you push this or turn this, you can see where it mutes out a little bit, and if you push this. So it's your typical, uh, you know, radio that mutes like that. Um, but it does pretty well um, in the little test I've done, so I'm happy to happy to have it, and um, looking forward to doing some more videos on it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like. Have a good day, everybody.